In this video, we're going to be discussing how to test your CAC and your intake system for boost and air leaks. Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to test your CAC, also known as an aftercooler, also known as a ATAC, for leaks or for damage. And this is kind of a follow-up video to my previous video, which was talking about boost pressure leaks, bad turbochargers, things like that. And uh, before we get on to that, I'd like to thank Macario for a $15 donation and Kenneth for a $50 donation. Thank you very much. If you'd like to donate, it's adeptdate at yahoo.com on PayPal. And on to the video. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to be doing is looking for any leaks in the intake system after the turbocharger and the biggest place for that is the CAC which sits in front of your radiator made of aluminum there it is and we're gonna be pressurizing it and we're gonna be using this tool here this is a CAC tester kit and what it is is a regulator and some fittings that will fit onto the CAC or an intake tube and pressurize it so I've removed the hose and installed the CAC tester so you'll notice it has a clamp on there as well that is going to prevent that boot from popping off. Okay, so before we get further into this video, you might be wondering, well, why am I testing the CAC? Well, this truck came in and had, it had very low boost as far as it was only building around 20 PSI. And this twin turbo setup on these CAT engines usually run in the 40 to 50 range max boost. We had already done the standard testing for low boost if your truck is getting low boost and you'd like to know the troubleshooting check out my low boost video which is the previous video to this one and the troubleshooting had led us to think okay well maybe we have a boost leak and this is one of the early checks to do when testing for low boost is to check your cac so another thing i want to talk about is those plugs if you're going to be doing a cac test you have those those large plugs that plug into the CAC. It's a good idea to use those caging bolts around those plugs because we're doing fairly low pressure testing. So we're filling up the CAC to maybe about 20 PSI. But you have to remember, 20 PSI doesn't mean that plug has 20 pounds of force on it. So the plug has 20 pounds per square inch PSI. So if that's a four inch by four inch diameter plug, well, it has a lot more than 20 because 20 pounds per square inch. So you have to think about that. So it's gonna have well over 100 pounds of pressure on that plug. So you wanna use those caging, yeah, those caging bolts to kind of keep it contained if you can. All right, and on to the video. Okay, so you notice I left the intake tubing going to the intake of the engine on and I'm gonna explain why I did that okay so I left the intake tubing on on that side of the engine and the reason I do that is so that if there's a leak after the CAC say going to the head it will show up on the test normally people will plug the outlet of the CAC and test it under pressure now you can do that if you just want to test the CAC and not the whole intake system but say there's something in your head that's leaking or in the intake tube or a boot after the CAC. Well then, that's when you're gonna want to leave the intake tube connected like I do. Now the downside of this is there's two things that can happen. If one of your cylinders is in valve overlap, meaning the intake and exhaust valve are open, you'll hear an air leak out the exhaust because the air is going into the intake through the intake valve into the cylinder then back out through the exhaust. If that happens, just rotate the crank a little bit and it'll get out of valve overlap and it'll stop doing that. The other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna leak a little bit no matter what you do if you do this because remember your piston rings have small gaps in them. Also it can leak a little bit out of the valve seals. So you'll get a small amount of leak but assuming you don't have major engine damage, uh, it's gonna be fairly small amount of air that's gonna leak out of there and you'll actually be able to hear it coming out of the blow-by tube if you do do it that way. Okay, back to the video. 
So if you're in valve overlap, just rotate the crank a little bit and it'll stop leaking. So let's get on to testing our CAC for leaks. So we're back on the exhaust side and there's a ball valve and then a pressure regulating valve on this test setup. And you can see our gauge, it's a uh, PSI on the outside. So ball valve's open, we're now increasing the pressure. So we are pressurizing the CAC, the cylinder head intake side manifold, and all the hoses on the intake side. And I don't usually take it up to you know 50 PSI. If you have a large leak, which this would have to have to reduce the boost that much, you know 20 PSI is fine. Um, you could even go a little lower if you wanted. So we are up to 20, and you can hear, you can look for leaks if you wish. But if you want to see if the system's holding air, what you do is you close the ball valve, and you see how fast it drops. And it is going to drop slightly. So you can see it's slowly decreasing. And the reason for that is you're getting a little bit of blow bypass the cylinders. Um, this is fairly normal. Now if it just dropped to zero right away, you'd know you have a big leak. Now I also found some small boot leaks, but nothing that was of concern to be causing this much of a leak. So I suspected possibly the leak was before the CAC. So on your intake tubing between your turbos and your pre-cooler, your pre-cooler's right there, it can leak as well. And if you have a leak, it's kind of hard to test. So what I did is I rigged up this apparatus here to test the intake into the turbos. Now the downside of this is you can't build much pressure on this side because it's such a large opening. It's like a six inch opening. So what you need to do is you're gonna test it under very, very low pressure. And if you have a big leak, it'll still show even under one or two PSI. So what I've done is I have hooked it up into the intake. This is where the filtered air goes into the first turbocharger. And we're just gonna take it up to about two PSI. And if there's a big leak, it'll show. So we're set to two PSI. Now I can hear a big leak, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is get some soapy water. And you can kinda of hear where it's coming from, but you wanna spray the areas that you suspect are leaking. Now, do you see where that clamp is where I'm spraying right there? You can see that the air is actually pouring out of there, and it's actually blowing the soapy water away. It's not actually staying on the tube. Um, on the little bit of the left side of the tube, you can see it bubbling a little bit. That's because it's not leaking there quite as much, but you can see I'm spraying it directly where it's coming out, the air is coming out, and it's just blowing the soapy water away. So that is our leak. Um, I, after I had found this leak, I fixed it, and the boost went immediately back up to the low 40s. And that is how you do a CAC leak. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.